We're having a swimming class with the third years today. All these damp, tight clinging feathers are making my heart race. Salutation, <laughs> Sakuya. The wet look suits you well. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, Mongrel. You probably can't even swim. Ha ha! I wonder! <laughs> Want to decide who is faster once and for all, little brother? Mon ami! Yes? Will you be our judge? I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness. There is a form of multimedia entertainment beyond that which is good. These games are as vast in number as they are terrible. They dwell in the dark recesses of history, unearthed from the pits of the bargain bin. These are the games of horror. This is Garbage Game Night. Welcome to Garbage Game Night, and uh, welcome to our Valentine's Day episode, because at the end of the day, this is a podcast about love and trash. And we're looking for trash that we love. We want to find some joy in a bad or misunderstood game. And tonight, we're going to try to understand this game, but I doubt we'll get anywhere close. First, let me introduce the cast that I'm going to be traumatizing. Uh, Grace, how are you this evening? Tom muted her, remember? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. I, I literally was just, I, I literally took a second to be like, Grace, wait, hold on. And, I saw, and so we both didn't have our heads Don't on. answer the question. It'll be really funny. <laughs> What did you say? Let's just say that again. What did you ask I like I was on a somebody? Roll. Grace, how are you doing tonight? Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Glad to hear it. Uh, Tom, how are you this evening? Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I am also fantastic. <laughs> Can you say that with a little more fear in your voice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so good. To the scoreboard here. What am I doing? Jeez. You never give me points. Ooh, she should get a bonus I, point okay. for being you left out. You never give Don't me points. Don't threaten the game host. Okay. <laughs> Hunter, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing really well. And Carly, welcome back. Thank you. Um, I'm doing well. How are you, Chris? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. I, I appreciate people asking me you. as always. Wow. Wow. About me. The show is about me. And, uh, <laughs> Frank, how are you doing tonight? I muted Frank. Francis? <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you go through. Oh, man. oh yeah. Frank, yeah. how are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm 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 doing I'm doing better today. Yeah, I would I wouldn't have been able to do this yesterday. Oh, not because of Valentine's Day. I was just I was deathly ill yesterday, so that was fine. oh no. Yeah. I'm fine now. All good, <laughs> yeah. baby. You would have been you would have been fine abandoning your wife, the mother of your child, on yeah. Valentine's Day. She was but, not. Uh, yeah, no, she was really happy yeah. about it. But you know, I I literally <laughs> just couldn't you know function well yesterday. So I just uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you could make it. All right. Well, uh, oh, where's my button? There we Whoa. go, it's trash talk time. So this is the time we talk about any games we're playing, any, any trash or any go game news going on. Did any, anyone playing anything interesting? Because yeah. I have been playing nothing. What's up, Hunter? I, I had today <laughs> off and played uh, Lost Ark all day. Oh, like, nice. I haven't seen any of it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, very reminiscent, kind of a mix of like Diablo and World of Warcraft. MMO, top-down, isometric, loot. It was a little weird yeah. at first because you pick a class and then you immediately pick a subclass. I don't know if... So mm -hmm. I don't know if I have like a free-to-play version of the game and you have to buy something, but it's like it automatically bumps you to level 10 and then you pick a subclass. So mm -hmm. I was trying out the Artillerist, which is like... A heavy gun that just launches mortars and big explosions and killing like 30 enemies with one shot and all kinds of stuff cool it's uh it's pretty fun so far probably gonna put some more time into it and uh like i said mmo so if any of you yeah. are bored and we're yeah, free right yes this is a is it a korean made um game it is and apparently yeah. it came out in korea like three years ago and it's been oh, wow. mad popular and then just released in the states like well, that's cool a day or that two ago uh, that's a, like a fully developed game that we just haven't had access to yeah and now we have to check it out and cool. you know honestly that's three years of updates and fixing and working on it so it's right. seem seemingly really well polished looks good Check yeah, Grace, Grace and I, um, we just beat Dismantle. Dismantle? I'm not familiar with that. It's, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's like, uh, kind of, it's actually with a Y, D-Y. So it's kind of like there's zombies and I guess the hook of the game is that like you can break your surroundings for materials. Okay. And <laughs> by the time you get down to the end of the game, 
we've more than done like i mean you can like take literally everything down to its like foundations Oh, that's funny. Which that basically, like so what is that called when you're the new term? Dismantling. Violent? No. The term you learn? Oh, grinding. Grinding. Oh. You're just grinding the whole time. Gotcha. Basically. Little... But I had a great time because I don't game like that, so. Can you break things down to their mo- molecular level or does it just stop <laughs> at like wood? Rock. It just stops at like wood. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> And it stops at wood and blue molecules, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess blue so. Blue molecules. <laughs> and blue energy, yeah. And then so we just switched to Ori. I think it's Ori Will of the Wisps. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's been really fun, except I won't spoil what happened, but mm-hmm. uh, there was there was an unexpected death. Tonight. Did a dog yeah. die? <laughs> A, do- a dog did, did not die. I wouldn't be <laughs> Are you, are you now anymore. regularly checking did the dog die? Oh, I have rules. <laughs> but, but an animal did an animal did die. Is the uh, is the will of the wisps is that the one that uh, per- is it the first one cuz um, It's the second one. Wait, okay. there's okay. a first one? Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. The what the heck? We started first, in the yeah. middle. We just skipped yeah. straight to number 2. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Do you I watch movies like, like that? that? Was one that was on on I don't know. No, they were both. Uh, I think they were both avail- available to play. I just was like, nah, second one. <laughs> Why? It worked out. Why? Out. But it's fun, and it's really, it's really, uh, it's really pretty. I think it's the yeah, spirit. It is. And Grace is getting a lot better at gaming because I, it, this is definitely. It's hard. It's not easy. Do you yeah. guys take yeah, turns? This is or... like an easy game. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you die, you switch controllers, or what's your no, what's your strat? It made it sound like uh, like Our sometimes, like he doesn't, is he doesn't like share when equally. I feel like giving him the controller, <laughs> which is normally <laughs> during a boss or a difficult uh, or scarier or something part. or other. When I'm frustrated enough to just say I'm over it, and then when it's like you can walk now, I'm like I'll take the controller back. Thank you. <laughs> I got it's, this. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun like that to like watch her like like i said she's getting better skill wise at this stuff but yeah every once in a while i'll be like all right let me take uh take the controller (laughs) and then i'll i'll make it work i asked him the other day and maybe you guys have like a good answer what is a game like if somebody was first starting to like play be a gamer or whatever the hell it's called um (laughs) What's like a game that you would introduce them to? Like something past like the Ori or the Dismantle, like something a little bit more difficult. What would you introduce them to? Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always recommend Portal. Oh, I was going to say Portal. Like, yeah. It's a classic. And I just, I love that game a lot. And I think people that are not super into gaming can get into that one. And, yeah. and it has a phenomenal <laughs> multiplayer. Yeah. Well, well, two <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know, Tom. Well, Tom I didn't play know. the first portal because he only <laughs> plays the he second play one. Play yeah. I always say that there's a big barrier um, to keeping friends, first of all, Tom. But to, <laughs> uh, to, to learning FPS controls, like on a controller and, and a mouse, it's, it's something that a lot of people who play these games for a long time take for granted that you don't think about how this game controls a lot differently than, you know, a top down game in RTS or something or a point and click. There's a learning curve to FPS is that it is is pretty substantial and what's great about portal is it really does slowly increase the difficulty to the beginning levels where they're just so straightforward puzzles that you can get your your bearings on you know using camera controls with a with a right stick or a mouse yeah i think i think portal's a awesome choice it's a pretty perfect tutorial like the intro yeah. to the game um, oh all right. Well, yeah, otherwise, in the, the gaming world, uh, Horizon Zero sequel, Horizon Forbidden uh, West is just out. Just Horizon. And great reviews. Or just Horizon, if you want yeah, to simplify. It's not... Horizon Forbidden West. It's it's a complicated name to begin yeah. with. <laughs> um, others, the, the Uncharted movie is out, and the re- reviews are rolling in. It's supposed to be pretty terrible. That's great. I love that. <laughs> Back on and, Horizon uh, real quick, though. I saw something really yeah. funny earlier today. Everybody's giving this guy shit because he mm-hmm. zoomed in on one of the promotional photos for Horizon on Aloy's face. And yeah. she has, like, you know, just, like, blonde hairs on the side of her face. And he's like, right. who the fuck gave Aloy a beard? <laughs> and everybody's just basically like, wow, at least we know that you've not, uh, 
like gotten within five foot of a woman or, uh, you know, you haven't violated your restraining order or anything like that. It's, yeah. it's, been, it's been pretty funny. There's been a lot of, a lot of uh, criticism about that game way before it came out that like one of like her diving from a high place, like it did a similar animation style to the original game. It's like, yeah, it's a sequel. <laughs> it's uh, can you imagine if they didn't reuse any assets at all for the second game? It's by all counts though, it's getting getting good reviews. Um, let's see. Otherwise, Cyberpunk is uh, they announced and are releasing a huge update today. So is it worth it? I, I don't know. Gonna roll those dice. It's half off right now. So I, I saw that anyone, it was does anyone on here sale. own it. I mean, I, no one here owns it anymore. I owned it, it and then <laughs> and I sold it. it. <laughs> I, yeah. I returned it when they gave me the option to. I might yeah. check it out again, but I don't know. Well, when they officially launch, you know, then uh, then we'll check it out, you know. But in, until they get a, a finalized game. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Still waiting to see. Waiting for the call from Microsoft to see if they buy our podcast, too. Here's hoping. So, um, <laughs> I just have to wait the phone. Got it ready. They just bought got Wordle. It, got it ready. Right? Yeah, they got money to spend, too. What um, is Wordle? It's, it's uh, a daily it's nice. game. Okay. Yeah, it's, word game. it's a it's text twist except you only get one a day it's a it's they limit the it's a scarcity principle you know and they say you get you get one text <laughs> twist a day and uh, a, you can share it with your twist? friends you don't it's remember text wordle, twist the old, get a the lot old of game them. right it's a, it's a wordle but there's a lot mm -hmm. what's it? What's i don't a, know how to explain this any more simply to you what it's the biggest <laughs> thing happening in the gaming world i don't know how you're not you're too busy with the rock <laughs> on, <laughs> on text twist all right i'm googling it <laughs> all right well like i said this is our valentine's day episode we've got a, a big cast assembled here so you know what that means we're doing a we're doing a visual novel game that requires some professional grade voice acting and i i try and pick games that are you popular can't afford it, so you just ask yeah. us to do it yeah exactly okay. yeah <laughs> i i try to pick games that are popular and weird but not so weird that frank would gift it to someone you know <laughs> so <laughs> I found There's the middle line. ground. <laughs> <laughs> I found the middle ground somewhere between the sex with Stalin game and like a serious dating sim game. But the thing is, that's a pretty fucked up scale to begin with. And like I've I've run the numbers several times, and between those two, there is only one game, and it is the 2014 release called Hateful Boyfriend. Oh, uh, no. You've probably seen it on Steam Excellent. and would recognize it as the bird dating sim mm -hmm. game. Oh. About the fucks and pigeons, boy. <laughs> oh. Tom, you almost got <laughs> this game. Really, <laughs> oh, really? For, yeah. for Christmas? Yeah, it was on her list. It was. <laughs> oh my god! That yeah, and this... sex with Hitler. No. <laughs> no. no. This, I mean, you gotta uh... complete the collection. You know what I mean? No. no. <laughs> the whole oh, spectrum. <laughs> That's what Frank. No. Frank gave her what? sex with Stalin. Oh yeah. my god. And then it's god. just uh, cuddling with yeah. Mussolini. For Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was Christmas, Grace. <laughs> it, it was Christmas. It was all, of, all is forgiven. Context, all right, it was Christmas. <laughs> oh, oh, that context okay. does not help. Classic Christmas gift. <laughs> you know? All right. So this setup, it may seem a bit of ostrich. Uh, ostrich? Mm. Oh boy. <clears throat> but it, use, it uses many... It uses many of the classic tropes. It's based in a Japanese school. You navigate your days through the year. You have some inflection points where you choose maybe one interest over the other. There's branching paths, multiple endings. There's a bit of an underlying mystery, and you're trying to quack the case. That one was good. And, that uh, one just was okay. You're going to pigeonhole all of these in, aren't you? I know. You keep doing those. We're going to have to clip your wings. No. <laughs> I'm having a real foul just time to, uh... right now. <laughs> <laughs> And just Here, to put us all at ease, this uh, this game does not delve into what the genre calls er eroge or eroji, as in like er erogenous. It's it's not one of those games. So it's, there's, there's no hentai. There's no bird hentai in here. Okay, uh, we wouldn't be able right, to stream that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we couldn't stream that anyway. That might be ill eagle. Oh. Uh, you need a button to make a clapping Ill noise. Or <laughs> you a you really got noise. some egg on your face, man. <laughs> Oh, not that one. No, hold on. No. No, it's the bad one. That, wait. No. No, that's... <laughs> oh, that We're just gonna be flamingling with all these birds. Thank you. That deserved the, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so this game is considered an otome, otome, otimi. Look, I'm going to be pronouncing, uh, butchering a lot of Japanese words, but I think it's o otome game, uh, which means a, a maiden game, means it's targeted at women. So our protagonist this evening mm -hmm. is going to be played by Carly, if that's not too much of a burden. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Burden. Bur burden. Oh, okay. All right. So we don't want to waste any time when we could be delving into the story. So let's get into it. I'll be narrating and announcing the characters and roles as they come in. Is every birdie ready? <laughs> Unfortunately. No. I will take you under my wing as we explore this world. Very good. That was That's good. That's the was last good. one of that series, I swear. And hit new game. What is Hataful? It's a bit of a pun in Japanese and it doesn't translate very well. So the word heitofuru is heartful and heito in Japanese means Japanese means pigeon. It's also the creator's name or at least what she goes by is, is hato. So it sounds like it's playing off that, but also the term, like it sounds like hurtful, which is also something they intend. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on with that, that name. Mm. All right. So welcome to St. St. Pidgeon Nations. Please enter your name. Oh, you, you guys want to collectively come up with a name? I didn't think about this part. First name. Uh, what's the, the, what's the pun with that Carly? Was, that's Car dumb and, and it's now Wait, extinct. Is this the dodo, dodo bird? Yeah. D how about that? Okay. Dodo. Yeah, it was okay. dumb because it couldn't defend itself against human weapons. What a stupid bird. And, uh, but that, that, way, that way there's motive here, because if the dodo can find love, then it can, uh, you know, there you go. prolong the okay. species. Bird. Bird. Okay, yeah. dodo bird. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like it. So our last name, uh, first name, dodo, y. last name, bird. <laughs> <laughs> like Larry? Yeah, like Larry. Okay. Yeah. Actually, wait, can we go change the first name to Larry? Okay, Larry Burb. Or no, it's 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 Kiwi Burb. Or not Kiwi, oh, yeah, dodo, uh, dodo Burb. Burb. Yeah, I guess it's, you know, fine. I can't, can't go choose. back. Burb. Yeah. Dodo it's Burb. Burb. Yeah. Why? Is Dodo because. Burb okay? Dodo... No. Because Larry Is Burb Dodo was Dodo Burb taken. okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Mm -hmm. Display human portraits? We do want to do that. What? I want birds. So not when you want. when we first see them, they're going to appear as human, but not constantly. Why do I need I that? Wanna, listen, if I'm gonna, uh, if I'm gonna date a bunch I, I of birds, it, it'll help get you into character. Yeah. 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 yeah I want to fuck right. that bird, but you know, what the bird, if, it was, if it was a human, you know. <laughs> St. Pidgeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say the school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. This is Grace. Who is this? <laughs> this is your character? You. Question mark? Wait, we don't remember know your name we yet. said not professional voice actors. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, you read the words. <laughs> not every day I see you rushing along like this. <laughs> Wait, so is that picture of the bird I'm looking at right now, is that me? Is that Dodo or is that Grace's no, Dodo's character? No, Dodo's a female human. Okay, great, because that is so one creepy looking bird. I don't know. You'd rather a be a human trying to fuck birds than a creepy looking bird trying to fuck birds? No, I don't want anything. <laughs> is one better than the other? I don't know. <laughs> Ryuta! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. This is a new This is her. Uh, we're slammed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here, here's an anime picture and the pigeon of Ryota That's Kawara. You? That's the one with the country accent. <laughs> <laughs> Should I send the pictures first? I don't know. You got to stick with it now, Grace. It's yeah. a short haired blue. I've got red eyes. <laughs> A little androgynous, but what it's supposed to be a boy, I think. What information did you give Grace on, based on I this said, character like, to get that voice? I said just a typical best friend anime high school boy, right? I said... Uh, she said weaker watching. best friend like Armin. Uh, and and like Armin, Armin from does Attack not Titan, have yeah. a country accent at all. I didn't know what I was doing when I... She, when I, she it, made it a bold choice and, and I, I'm here for it. I can't control my voice. <laughs> <laughs> this rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. What the mm. fuck? Jesus. Living as a hunter-gatherer <laughs> sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. The bell rings. The 
the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good <laughs> being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along to the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Oh, the teacher's here. Kazuaki will be played by Hunter. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you get a point for that one. <laughs> I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Uh... <laughs> Isn't that like something that people actually struggle with is like falling asleep? What is it called? Narcolepsy. 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 <laughs> Chris told me to do. Yeah. Wake oh, up! This whole room. <laughs> he sleeps with his eyes open. Oh. Uh, now we're treated to a picture of Kazuaki Nanaki, a uh, very blonde-haired, kind-eyed-looking fellow, a quail named Nanaki Kazuaki. He's famously so, so prolific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Whoa. Uh, the, the role of Sakuya will be played by Frank. What is the point? Mm. Give me a second. I gotta, I, no, I can go no that, that was good. That was it. I have no wish to speak with commoners. Yes. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. It's more Russian, but it's fine. Chris, you <laughs> also told me to be French. Everybody's I, no, French. I was on purpose. <laughs> and I gotta be honest, my French is a lot more, it's like identical to Frank. So I'm, I just, I just, my heart just stopped. I was like, oh, I need an okay, entirely. I'll, I'll try, oh, oui, oui, oui. I need an entirely <laughs> new thing. Oh, <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into... Well, Kulaks. Kulaks and dissenters. <laughs> Different than Kulats. I had to look it up. It's like a peasant. What? <laughs> it's a what? It's like a peasant. Oh. oh. Ew. In like class I systems. I thought it was right. like a slur. I <laughs> Is that like a it poor? It does. Yeah. It's like a poor, yeah. A poor. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Dot, 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 in <laughs> French. In yeah, French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shirogane, le belle sakuya. <laughs> it's odd saying ooh. a Japanese name in French. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I'm treated to a, ooh, he is, yeah, he's, he looks older than he's me. the one. <laughs> it's got that Sephiroth look. It seems this fantail is Shiragami <laughs> Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud, gray-haired fella. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. That reminds me, I've had these books out of the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, <laughs> staring in my direction. <laughs> there's, a, there's a morning dove picture. <laughs> morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Frank is doing the role of Nageki. He looked away. Not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I, I don't want anything with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances so like at the, the desk as if to say, hurry up, Family guy. Yeah, it's Herbert the pervert. <laughs> oh, no. You all want to come down to my cellar? <laughs> hey there, paper boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense, and I never finished them. Dot, dot, dot. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Herbert. <dope. laughs> Okay. Who are you? I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Burb Dodo, a sophomore. What about you? The human, in case that's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> You're... Da, da, da. <laughs> Nageki. <laughs> Fujishiro. <laughs> Fujishiro Nageki. <laughs> Freshman. 
<laughs> the anime drawing of Nageki Fujishiro. Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. No. Mm, leave me alone. <laughs> He's reading his book again. Uh, okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> Wish they'd get out of my way. <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. <laughs> uh, Yuya will be played by Tom. Oh, God. Are you also French? Please also be French. <laughs> yeah, I think he's also French. Come on, so cool, ya! What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? Oh, After all of these years. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going with. Transylvanian, okay. <laughs> My brother, you must be your king. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, do not try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, just uh, I guess even if we're the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki Yuya is Takuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation mark. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I, I am sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, no so at. <laughs> Oh, God. I tried to say sexy and so on in front of all you <laughs> little ladies, but there, but that there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. God damn it. You're Dodo, right? How, how did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human, a single puppy in a field of rye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you are friend of Sakuya's? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay. Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. Dot, dot, dot. No birdies here? God damn. There's no one sleeping behind the <laughs> curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryota? <laughs> no reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Hmm. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> <laughs> Ethylpard, Trifi, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? Frank doing your other voice. Mm, care to find <laughs> out. D -d 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 Doctor? That's right, I'm the fat bird. That is the Lucky cutest bastard. little chong. <laughs> this is Shu. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. <laughs> oh, uh. Uh, no, do you hear the Christmas you. music in the background? Yeah, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Why well, is Christmas music playing in the infirmary <laughs> in, on April 8th? <laughs> <laughs> at a bird <laughs> school. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, now we see the anime and drawing Why of Shu. <laughs> Shu Iwimin. This partridge is Iwimini Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. God. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, aspergillus, pasiticosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara Kawar from 2 to 3 was supposed to be here. Best friend, Carly. Uh, <laughs> him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Just sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's <gasps> already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go look at some of my options. I think there are some clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll so start with the track. Soccer. 
<laughs> yeah, I think the bird watching is more yeah, scary. That's 100% yeah, like stalker level. Yeah, it's like a peeping level. Tom class. <laughs> Imagine if there was a class called people watching. <laughs> Just a bunch of birds are there and just watching. I ran in middle school and it's always been funny watching the birds hop around. Talking, uh, condescending, talking shit about the birds. I think our club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Uh, Hunter, this is this is you. Coo, coo. <laughs> this is no... What? <laughs> this is no pudding for a man. <laughs> coo. Okasan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. <laughs> He's dancing around a squished pudding. Oh. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Uh, now we are treated to <laughs> the side by side again. of Okosan. Okosan is a photo of the bird, and then there's an anime drawing of a bird, right. and it says, "This is Okosan." Don't sell he doesn't him really short, look it. Though. He's got a tie on the bird. Yeah, has that's true. A tie. That's it's true. A His anime suit. drawing yeah. is in a business suit. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Coo! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. <laughs> betrayal? Coo! Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coo, but not this pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. <laughs> It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo, coo, spare the jests, young lady. Okosan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> coo, they'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Coo, Okasan must now trade to achieve true pudding. Farewell! <laughs> and he's gone. I wish you all runner. could see the amazing, like, arm movements that are getting into character with this one. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. That's a weird word. <laughs> That's probably the weirdest part about this game. I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragane? Et vous les questions? I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho. Don't get to vote. <laughs> Nepotism, ho. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crows before hoes. <laughs> Give you a point for that. Just, just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Oh what? Hmm. I wonder what I should do. I feel like we missed the first had a full boyfriend where they talked about all this backstory. <laughs> yeah. She knows she's like, yeah, you have to go take care of your mother. What? Where? Where <laughs> you the... Are we going to join the? Now we have a choice. It's our first oh, choice. Ooh. Finally. Now we're going to join the student council, the track team, the library staff, or the infirmary, infirmary staff. Infirmary, a hundred percent. Track team. You track know that's going to. That's pudding. that's where the creepy guy is. That's the whole point of <laughs> he the thing. Me out. Who's, yeah, who's at the Carly. library? We we're messing with Carly today. That was it's, the if Carl, Carly's the, the uh, I didn't <laughs> say okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carly's the protagonist. So what do you think, Carly? Um, has anybody mentioned being on student council yet? I don't think yeah, it's the French that guy. was. Yeah, oh, the I want to spend some time with French, French Frank, president of the student right, council. I want to see Hunter flap his arms yes. around some more. Let's go track team. Into character. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Scene change. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Oh, we're met with another choice. How do we want to spend our uh, electives? Do we want to go to math class, gym class, or music class? Also, we're looking at our stats. We have one wisdom, seems low. Oh. 800 vitality, <laughs> seems too high. And five charisma. Let's oh. let's use that uh, vitality. Let's go to gym. All right. I had to sit out the wing training, but it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Hmm. Seems unlikely though. Doubtful, yeah. You're works. human. D Dodo leveled up. Vitality oh. increased by five. Oh. It's good. We uh, have eight, 805 yeah. is, is not that impressive. <laughs> now when we get hit by a truck. It does 800 <laughs> damage. We'll be okay. <laughs> I need to go sign up for track. Oh, a window. That's super clean. 
<laughs> I want to join the team, but I wonder if Oko-san's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. No, he most certainly is. Are you ready? <laughs> Ooh, a dodo <laughs> appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. <laughs> a fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really. I want to join the team. <laughs> Do you know where the captain is? Coo! He stands before you. <laughs> Okusan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, here, my forms. Thank you. Coo! A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? Coo, of course! Track is in <laughs> daisy chain making, Missy. Coo! Okasan will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance? Um. Oh, now we choose. You have 805 vitality, so. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> you think long distance then? <laughs> yeah. Coo, long distance? You've got guts. Let us begin. Coo, coo, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say pant, pant. <laughs> coo, you're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Uh, thanks. Uh, we go back to a, a cave setting, apparently. <laughs> uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Birds live in nests. Humans live in caves. Live in caves, obviously. Duh. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to... Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to? Another inflection point here. Mm. Ryota, Sakuya, San, or Kazuaki? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's talk to Sakuya. Unacceptable. <laughs> In a temper, as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this and on food? It's a hike, Sakuya. You have to walk. For what purpose is exercise foolishness? Exercise is for peasants. No, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here. Don't we have a nice view? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sakuya looks like he still has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Right, same choices again. Math, gym, or music? Mm, music class. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. Uh, I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle, but this is what Mozart is about, I guess. Mozart is about. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing. Hmm, yeah, good luck. Armigans <laughs> on their head? Armigans? That must be a bird. I don't That's probably know. what it is. You didn't look this up? Patarmigan. <laughs> Do you seek to mock the Grandmaster's low born Philistine? Yeah, but ptarmigans are, are big, white, chubby-looking birds that live in the snow. Aww. Uh, we got a little triumph music and our charisma. Dodo leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Nice. Well, we're at a stunning nice. ten charisma now. But I'm dumb still. Uh, I imagine all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already. If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. <laughs> so it's always been in May. <laughs> what are you going to do, Ryutan? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Actually, two people have to. <laughs> Koo! Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. Mm. What about you, Sakuya? You <laughs> 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 can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. So we just jumped like a whole month? Uh, we're in April? I think it's only been no, a, it's a May week. Now. No, it's May, May now. It's May now, baby. Was, oh, what we did started it start off on? the 8th of April. Game oh, wow. is going in so many directions, but not anywhere. So <laughs> <laughs> Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... <laughs> Are we going to go to the three-legged race, the marathon, the cheerleaders, uh, the first aid tent, or the library? Ah, mm. uh, cheerleader. 
All right. Cheerleader gonna go say hi to Sakuya. All right. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sakuya and a brass band. That's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here. <laughs> You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a labelli. Or uh, Tom. <laughs> Tom, another voice. <laughs> Your orders, sir. <laughs> Very well. Begin. And so the be and so the band began to play. Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. They sound like different people too. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? <laughs> you join in. Um. Okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip, and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes! Sakuya's conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? The first barrier for all students who make it this far is midterm exams. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Burb. Yes. Um, I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too... Nope. Sorry, you did badly. <laughs> oh. Try harder next time, okay? Uh -huh. I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Ch chose the wrong electives, man. With the oh, festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? So oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Dodo. <laughs> Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. <laughs> he began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgey Olympics. <laughs> He's extremely <laughs> influential. The name was adopted right away. I have so many questions. <laughs> Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's real. I, I've I've not actually I'm done that, Brian but yeah, okay. Pigeon's so he's a Twitter blogging right pigeon. Now. Hold on. Nice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> is that like a, is that a very old meme from 2006? It looks like. Uh, there's some 2017 yeah, post. Brian Pigeon is back. Just posted on the blog. The original blogging and twittering pigeon who's been telling it how it is for pigeons everywhere since 2006. That's his Twitter bio. Okay. I think I think. Uh... Someone had a lot of compromising pictures of pigeons and anime drawings. And they said, no, no, I'm working on a game. It's a game. I'm working on a <laughs> game. out of any kind of legal conflict. They had to make the game. They had to make the game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu. Do -do. Uh-oh. I'd better hurry back to class. Back Hello, in the classroom. Every bim, huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. <gasps> Ryota is overturned next to them. Oh my god. Black doves, underwings, and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. <laughs> I mean, wait, what's going on? Uh, oh, Gasan <laughs> and Sakuya are... <gasps> <laughs> I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Gasan. <laughs> <laughs> We call him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding. Fucking asshole. And said that he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible. I mean, Okasan is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. I do. I like my reasoning there. Yeah. He really likes pudding. He really likes that pudding. That makes sense. Um, he really either way, enjoy pudding. Either way. Okasan kind of went for the jugular, and you tried to pull them apart, and Okasan used wing attack on you. <laughs> yup, <laughs> you're our only hope now, Dodo. Coo coo! Okasan will not allow pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take my word back, I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. 
Haku! Okasan is not a mongrel! The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should... Uh, you can now choose to side Ooh. with Sakuya, side with Okasan, or scold them both. Oh. Crush their pigeon bones. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah. really, if we think about it, like the pudding the is is like <laughs> they shouldn't be messing with the pudding. Yeah, True. don't mess with the don't pudding. Don't fuck don't with the pudding. I, he so loves it. Side Oka with Oko -san? Well, you were also cheating. That was a one-time thing. You're on his track team, right? Okay, so yeah. side with Oko -san. Right. What are you gonna do? Can side with Okasan, of Sophia, course. that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okasan is talking about doesn't mean you can start slurring him. Yeah, slurring you slurring him. me, bro? <laughs> we are siding with these mongre rebel. Aren't you supposed to be a human? <laughs> coo, coo. Okasan is resolved. Okasan will end this now. <laughs> he drops now. He drops low in <laughs> He, he drops low and prepares to strike crazy. with all his coo giga drill. Oh my god! <laughs> Perfect. No oh, fuck! I died. died. My neighbors. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. Oh no! <laughs> Okosan crashes into Sakuya oh with a god. spinning body slam. Sakuya goes flying out into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. Oh no! That must have hurt. Coo! Okosan is a match for any aristocrat. Cuckoo! Okasan is a match for the mighty giants themselves! He puffs off his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangsta pigeon. Wow. Wait, class is about to start. <laughs> Okasan, come back! Break is over! So now there's two dead birds. Is Ryuta dead? <laughs> they didn't actually die. No. <laughs> They're really for mm, real today? dead? <laughs> no. no. Uh -oh. mm, today is a good I day. Like, I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Another Bathroom. choice. <laughs> You go to, always a good choice. Go to the store, infirmary, or cafeteria. Mm. Go to the store. Yeah. I don't really need anything, but I'm gonna think I'll go to the store. <laughs> I haven't really looked around there before. Scene change. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find at a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Manami. Planning to settle down already. Yuya. No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so. Oh. But you know, we doves reach sexual maturity Ew, no. within a year of birth. This is, so this is, just, this is getting worse. Game. This no. is getting worse. <laughs> they do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? <laughs> there was so much emphasis on you saying that aside. Yeah. Let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> Your love, of course. No, no. Oh God. My, I, I, Yuya, that's, we're not. I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. <laughs> Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? You have a problem. <laughs> now we can choose to let it slide, or I think that's a little rude. Let it slide! I think it's a little rude. Let it slide! like, it's freaking rude. I'm really fucking rude. <laughs> yeah. So that's rude. a little rude, Yuya. What is? That sort of loose talk, loose like on a talk. game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mon ami. I'll carry this one in, in my pigeon heart. <laughs> Forever. Oh dear. That was really nice of you. Um, Set him straight. That was actually, that was relatively <laughs> respectful. Be a good guy and, from, and I guess we'll take it. He's going to be a good guy from now on. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess your heart's an, changed. An yeah. point He's had a life, change yeah. of heart. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Uh, we're going to get our same choices again. Math, math class, gym, or music? Yeah, we're going to go to yeah. math. Got to hit smart. the books. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Cool. <laughs> And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this, is this math class or nap time? An achievement sound. Yodo leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Oh, oh six wisdom now. Pretty easy. Killing All it. right. Change. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. In month, too. Now we're in a... Uh... Yeah, we're in July. July right? Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Impossible ness pass uh, French. Uh, this is from Yuya. <laughs> we were like, uh, do you speak French? Because read this. 
Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. You ya. <laughs> These are you tickets on a bamboo tree, which I think, I guess it's a cultural thing that I, I, sure. And here's a yellow one. Oh, is this what we're going to write on? What should I wish for? We can wish for to conquer the Never world by play force. This fucking game again. To conquer rule the world, world from the shadows force. or to become a famous artist. I heard oh. conquer the world by force. Yes. All right, let's do it. We're going to conquer. We're going to wish for conquering the world by. <laughs> I, I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. This yeah, is yeah. such like a character like moment. Like this is where <laughs> Dodo becomes evil. Yeah. <laughs> we're at the swimming class. We're having a swimming class with the third years today. All these damp tight clinging feathers are making my heart race. <sighs> <laughs> No, Salutation, what? Sakuya. The wet look suits you well. Do you mock me? Hardly. I am praising you. I am proud to have such a handsome little brother. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, Mongrel. You probably can't even swim. Ha ha! I wonder! <laughs> Want to decide who is faster once and for all, little brother? Fool. We already know who the victor will be. But... To ignore a challenge would be a disgrace to my name. Very well. Mon ami! Yes? Will you be our judge? I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness. Of course. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, who do you think will win? Probably... We can pick Sakuya or Yuya. Yuya! <laughs> Yuya. We're gonna say Yuya? Wow, alright. I think you'll win, Yuya. You're <laughs> you're ripped. And Sakuya's all fluff. What? <laughs> Why, thank you, mon ami. I'll swim my fastest for you. Wait, she wants to fuck that bird. <laughs> Get set, go. They dive with perfect synchronization. Yikes, they're both fast. Even though their skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. It was awfully close, but in the end... <laughs> so, who won, mon ami? It was almost too close to tell. Oh, she's gonna rig it. <laughs> she's rigging it. You, you oh, no, it's a not a choice. Faster. Oh, it tells it's yeah, probably because of whoever she picked first, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, there you have it, little brother. I can hear Sakuya grinding his beak in frustration. This, this is some sort of mistake. I demand a rematch. Sure, I am always happy to take you on. Yuya looks pleased. Maybe he's happy because he got to talk to Sakuya back in the classroom. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Come on, you had to do better. <laughs> <laughs> really invested in this now. <laughs> Are you really? Because I'm just like bored can't out of school, my guys. skull. There's, like, there's no progress in this. You're just talking about no, random we, we shit five daily. points at a time, right? This is called the grind. <laughs> but there's there's no like progress in the relationship aspect of it, which like at least Colonel Sanders had that. This is just yeah. like go to school. These two birds are fighting. Those Don't two worry. birds that, are the fighting. The investment is the finals. Barb, Barb, you didn't do too badly, I think. You uh, never mind. You did badly. Sorry. <laughs> No. This is just poorly they written. They just like, they literally just copy and pasted yeah, it. Yeah, this were just is like... really bad. <laughs> no. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it what? seems, oh my God. It seems long and sometimes it seems short. What it's going to be? Like, they're just like, oh, today <laughs> we're plot. getting, it's the 15th. This, like, the serious wait, what plot that's happening. That's what you're hung up on? Yes! <laughs> Because nothing, the gameplay of it. nothing is happening in this game. <laughs> sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. Munch, munch, munch. Okosan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Munch, munch, they're good. <laughs> it looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Scold him or join in? Join, join in. in. Join, join in. in. Everyone yeah. says join in. Join in. All right. 
Beans, beans, <laughs> the magical beans. fruit. Look pretty good. <laughs> He's gonna fight you for eating his munch, beans. Munch, munch, And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. What? <laughs> Are beans dietary supplements? <laughs> End of supplements? scene? It's easy to follow. Oh, we're back at our home cave? It's easy to follow and our practice to get fat and lazy later. during the summer vacation. Oh wait, a hunter gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Uh, scene change to the city? Scene change to a temple? Or shrine? Scene change oh, to um, a uh, destroyed city? That's for sure, Godzilla. <laughs> a scene change to a hill? Ah, that was a good run! A true running girl's way to start vacation. <laughs> the hell is that? Running a true girl. running girl. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's a true running girl. I'm a running I boy. I wonder yeah. how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Huh. Huh. Dot, mm. dot, dot. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Grace, come up with something that's, um, badass? Mm. <laughs> Rebellious? Difficult. Punk? Bad, a bad uh, pigeon. Bad bird. Gruff? Bad, bad, bad bird. Bad burb. Bad burb. Bad burb, bad burb. Hey, what you, you gonna do? do? <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> bad bird with, like, huh? peanuts in her throat. <laughs> I don't bird. know you. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? <laughs> the gremlin that lives under a, like a bridge or something. <laughs> it's a troll, yeah. A troll. But it's a little, it's a little tiny. Uh, what is this bird. music now? <laughs> yeah, it's like JRPG <laughs> battle music. <laughs> A sparrow a stands sparrow. next to me, squinting up in oh. my face. I guess that's a sparrow. Her wing you is resting on a motor scooter. Then. Oh shit! And she's got a motor scooter. Yeah. She's got a motor scooter. Fucking hardcore. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. Hmm. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the <laughs> way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. <laughs> what? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Oh, mm. give me a ride on your motorcycle, <laughs> your scooter. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like a threat then? <laughs> uh, anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Intimidating sparrow this gestures to at we're fucking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> gestures at her scooter. It's a little Bad small, verb. but he should fit. But we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Toshiba Azami. <laughs> I sell takoyaki. Oh, and I love takoyaki. Oh my god. What, what is that? Azami. What is, what is takoyaki? It's it's like pancake batter but with squid in it and it's like fried in, in little balls oh okay Ooh, we had that right yeah we had so it. good so it's kind of like uh conch fritters but with squid yeah mm. different batter yeah yeah kind of cool. oh Ooh, that does look good thank you azami oh, i'm so hungry right now <laughs> we'll try and wrap it up tommy oh, you da, da. not feeding your wife <laughs> yeah i don't provide <laughs> not providing for your family. Not a hunter gatherer. Let's give yeah. her a little bow and arrow Listen, and send her outside. The hard parts in the video games. <laughs> right. to feed her too. You're a very <laughs> cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. <laughs> it may That's seem hardcore. strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone. You'll understand. Oh, no. There's a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> the speed limit for scooters <laughs> is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic logs is part of my credo. 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 I thought is it was it, like cred, like street cred. Street Which cred. I have. Isn't writing tandem against the law too? That rules for humans. <laughs> Birds are light, so one or two more 
doesn't stop the brakes from working. Uh, who's driving the scooter? A zombie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is yeah, it a obviously. bird-sized scooter then? I think so, yeah. It's a small scooter that somehow the bird can also still drive. I guess the human <laughs> can the sit human on it too. I'm so it. confused. Uh -huh. We're fine like this. Oh, you said it, yeah, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a bird. And so we put along on a zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Back at the cave, it's still a long way until semester starts, and I have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance? I'll... Uh, you can get a job or forget it. We'll wrap up job. this kind of kind of side get path, and then we can, we can call it. Get a job. All right, we're going to get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? Saint scene change to a cafe. It's beautiful in here. Tom as an elderly man. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. A little faster, though. <laughs> oh, you got into a coffee if, fit now. If you could come back, hello. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet, a true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what they mean. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Oh my God! <laughs> All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara. Urushihara? Urushihara Kenshiburo. I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Burb Dodo. Welcome, Miss Dodo. I hadn't expected a human. Yet your entire storefront is made for humans <laughs> looking at the picture behind you where you keep birds locked in a tiny room and then have oh, human-sized chairs and have right like behind an him, there's a little bird statue on the table. Like that's a coincidence, all right? Huh. <laughs> um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. Ew. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm a vitality girl. <laughs> I shall and be running relying girl. on you for this summer then, Miss Dodo. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Are you Bane? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow then, Miss Dodo. I was born in the dark. I was, <laughs> I was born in the dark. Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. I think I will just do a Bane. Just a fast bane. Good morning, <laughs> Miss Dodo. Good He's morning, sir. More yeah. <laughs> virulent. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon. So please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe explaining everything inside. The shop is small and it keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Don't say Come that. now. It's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my hat. Uh, this is, oh, shh. Is that a problem? It is, oh no, it's uh, Grace Riota. Excuse me. Um, I saw the flyer <laughs> at the station and... Uh, Riota? Dodo, what are you doing here? <laughs> you taking my job? <laughs> A friend of yours, Miss Dodo. Oh, yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's it. Um, Mr. Urushara, Urushihara, could you use mm. two people? Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. Oh, we have another choice. Do we give the job to Ryota or do the job I was hired for? Oh, 
What are you gonna say, Tom? I was gonna say I mean, no. Fuck Ryota. Ryota. She, she, you still you lose. That's not one of the options. Yeah, so Ryota she's trying to take care of the mother. Let this girl work herself to death. I mean, that's kind of you know. Yeah, she's got a weak cool stomach. thing to do. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was a dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You whole are, time. dude. Yeah. yeah, you are, <laughs> you dude. Are, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so do the job you were hired for. Uh, um, I'm <laughs> sorry, Rita, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Dodo. I got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. Wink, wink. No. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, sir. <laughs> Have fun, Dodo. Sounds like an insult. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job for Ryota. I wonder what the first customer of my life will be like. Uh, I don't know who this is. Who is anyone inspired by this bird picture? Wow. Yellow parakeet? Y'all get a new girl? <laughs> a human. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> no, you're a welcome. Bud Budrigar steps in the door. First customer of my life. A young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome. Seems racist. Would you like a bath or a meal? Oh, go, what are they doing? <laughs> or, maybe, or maybe you'd like Mr. Urushihara? Wait, what, what? does this place do? <laughs> Where did you get a What does this do? do? This semester is gonna go. Oh, okay, we're not back at town yet. I stayed out on the town for too long and it's too late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is a new path I haven't seen. Uh, Hunter, what you got? Hey, human. Up. Oh my god. What? Wow. Whoa. That is a badass That's a looking bad bird. bird. Fuck. That bird fucks. It's a pigeon. It's a pigeon. It's a pigeon with a mohawk and uh, some sunglasses and a leather jacket. And an eye patch. I is it, that sunglasses? Sunglasses. Eye patch. It could be an eye patch. <laughs> Let's make it an eye patch. We won't know until he turns. Oh no. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkept pigeons. You go to St. Pigeonations, don't you? I bet oh, a rich a little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? <laughs> rich little girl going to a fancy school, thinks she's so great. <laughs> oh, I, 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 can't, this. I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves <laughs> I've met just all look the same. Okay. Wow. Rude. <laughs> Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. Am I being buff, like three different birds? You're being three one? different yes. pigeons, oh, okay. I think, yeah. Oh. They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks. Break their bones. Picking on girls <laughs> in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. Uh, uh, ostracized. Uh, what, you little? My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like it. Slam, thud. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> the work of a moment. Somebody flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is. <laughs> <gasps> a zombie? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was close, Dodo. Are you sure you should be out this late? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> Me? <laughs> well, I'm a passing takoyaki lady. <laughs> t -t takoyaki? Don't screw with us. <laughs> They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not going to take this from a finch and a human. Take this. Yeah. <laughs> Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick! <laughs> super cool! Your sparrow kick is super cool, zombie! <laughs> Don't relax just yet. This is where the real fight starts. A zombie fluttering magnificently under the glow of the neon lights, and me gleefully punching the daylights out of the punkjins. <laughs> Fighting back to back. Now that's trust. <laughs> <laughs> that's trust. <laughs> Today's we the trust each other. Festival. Like, this is I what I mean. Though. I'll go <laughs> with some birdie. Just like, oh, <laughs> now it's the summer festival. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just kill 
three birds. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. To zip to the end of this scenario, um, there's a fast forward button they have on this game in the top right, so it'll stop at all the choices we have to make. So right now we're going to invest someone to the summer festival. So who do you want to invite? Oh, oh, shoot. Opus, Opus no, who half these people are? Um, Wait, I, don't, I, I don't, don't remember everybody's names. Nageki, no, have we, seen, we haven't seen Nageki in a while. Nageki's the library kid, yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Nageki. All right, we're picking Nageki. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. I mean, that's just a bit of an assumption, but I don't know where his... I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look at the library at the school if it weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. Oh, I'd like to learn more about favorite. him. Though he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. What the hell? So that <laughs> choice like made us not go to the summer like festival. Like every time I try to, like, invite someone to hang. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's like interesting. <laughs> yeah, better not. <laughs> not worth the trouble. All right, we're going to start fast forwarding now, even though we're at the cafeteria. So we're zipping okay, through. Right. Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. No, a, a zombie, listen to me. I never threw you away. I, I, I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. <clears throat> I was a hero on the midnight roads. <laughs> but would I be a good father? <laughs> oh, my God. Think about it. And a guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I, I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. Could have made you happy like that. You. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back when I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. This is a better Maybe. love story than the rest this, of the this. game. <laughs> <laughs> like looking in said. Our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. A zombie. Enough girl talk. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wow, end of bird scene. Wedding. Beautiful. All right, we're going to continue skipping through. Wait, we can, we can see the bird wedding, Chris. Oh, that's actually credit roll. Wait, no, no, it's not over yet. Stop the credits. This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did that? Who started the ending scene there? Jeez. Put it in beans. Put what in the... What? Oh my god, oh, we, we that got was the sad a, ending. What? Okay, that so was... we got to the sad ending, which means that we didn't get with anyone at the end of the year. Yeah, um, because say like the majority with. of us are introverts and we didn't I want mean, to do fuck. any of that. I think that's it's only two semesters in the year. good ending, because we didn't there, fuck There can be bird. three terms. <laughs> <laughs> there can true. be three terms in this game. Uh, yeah, but we got to a point apparently where the uh, we had made choices in, in such a way that we were not going to be with anyone. So it kind of gave us wow. the bad ending of what well, looked like so a said, Grim Reaper you. killing us. Maybe, maybe the question that is on all of our minds, why does this game exist? Uh, I'll answer that for you. Uh, the Japanese manga artist Hato Moa developed this game. This was started as a visual novel uh, in 2011 as an April Fool's joke which sounds about right. Sure. Mm -hmm. She wanted to create a parody of the Otome uh, game stereotypes. She picked birds because of her fondness for pigeons, also because she wanted to focus on the writing, and this way she could just use like stock photos of birds She wanted to focus on the writing? Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind this is originally written in Japanese. It's been translated. Okay. I guess um, so, maybe. <laughs> Originally, this was a very short experience made in Flash. She made it in half a day and published it, and it went a little bit viral and, and crashed where she was hosting it. So due to its unexpected popularity, uh, she and a small support team went on to make the longer visual novel using an engine called Famous Writer. So for seven months, she worked on this April Fool's project to develop it into a full-fledged game. And she wanted to create something that, as she said, seemed ridiculous at face value, but as you get into the world, you would kind of fall into the depth of it. Um, she failed. All the birds... <laughs> she uh, all the birds backgrounds and music were sourced from either fan donated or royalty free sources that's why we were listening to Christmas music San Oko uh, the hyper pudding bird is actually her own pet bird I don't know if the photo that we saw in this game is but the original one in the flash game is at least uh, so this game made the move to English in 2014 when someone from Mediatonic contacted her about translation of her work. They got together with uh, Devolver Digital, which is a pretty large indie publisher, and they ended up moving it to the Unity engine and was fully released in September 2014. This was also ported to PS4 and Vita in... So how popular is this? Uh, at any given time, there are at least 20 different people playing this game, according to Steam Database. A median playtime is something like three hours between... Uh, there's between 500,000 and a million 
million downloads of this game. It's normally, oh, that was a creepy thing I just scrolled over. It's a body pillow with one of the characters. Um, I wasn't looking. Um, there are a couple a of guides game. on Steam that is just scrolling through <laughs> like a deviant problem, art looking things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm scrolling through the artwork here and like, there's, you know, there's a passion. I'm just glad follow. it wasn't a pigeon. Oh, the body pillow pigeon. Yeah. It is all actual characters there. Okay. Uh, and there's a full fandom wiki as well, which I'm sure they can take our criticism of this game like a, like water off a duck's back, right? <laughs> so now we're getting to the wrap up of this game. So the tone of this game, you know, it's pretty lighthearted. Maybe it's a parody of the genre. Maybe. I don't know. It seems to take itself pretty seriously sometimes. And well, there's a hidden section of this game that you wouldn't know existed and you wouldn't experience unless you really sunk some time into it or knew you were looking for it. So each time you do a run through this game with uh, you get different endings as you like in my first run through, I went, I went full fledged library kid, uh, Nageki, and um, you, you get a different ending with that. And then I went full fledged. Uh, I'm not purposely saying fledged because fledgling is a pun, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick to it. Um, <laughs> uh, then I went for Sakuya, the uh, French aristocrat, Frank's voiceover character there. And they all have different endings. Each time you do that, you unlock a new section in the archive. It's like a different box that you unlock and there'll be a clue inside of it. And there's notes and photos. It appears to be like something clandestine, like experiments and stuff. And once you unlock four specific ones, the next time you start a game, you can choose the option to fulfill the promise. And this starts what is known as the bad boy love scenario. Hmm. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so this starts what's called the bad boys love scenario. Uh, section. It's a whole hidden gameplay arc, and I'll summarize this as quickly as I can. So it starts off pretty normal, but you begin to have dreams of yourself and Ryota with his parents lying dead in front of an unknown house. Uh, a man promises to grant you any wish you want, and then you cut to the scene where uh, the next day at school where Ryota doesn't show up, and then you go to check on him in the infirmary. It's the next day at school and we're watching kind of some events unfold and Ryota is re retrieving some printouts and uh, gets them out of a box and he finds in the box with blood leaking out of it. He opens it and uh, what do you think he finds inside the box? His, the heads of his parents. Okay, the heads of Ryota's parents. Any other guesses out there? I feel like that was the answer. <laughs> the heads of his parents, okay. Or, or maybe like his wings. Okay, his he's, own wings. Because okay. he's not he a bird finds anymore. Oko -san. Bird seed. Finds Okosan. Okay. Uh, well, actually, he finds your head. The Holy protagonist's shit. head is in the box. Apparently, other limbs uh, were found in other paper boxes around the school. Uh, sirens go off and the students gather. The school is under now a concrete dome, and you're being told it's for your safety because there was a natural disaster. That doesn't really square with the protagonist being dismembered, so no, Sakuya not, and Ryota... not even remotely. <laughs> <laughs> Sakuya and Ryota decide to figure out what's going on, and uh, Yuya tells them that the body parts were gathered in the lab where Shu is performing an autopsy. So the, what I'm playing right now on stream is the, the non-remastered um, artwork. So this is before they remastered it and put it on Steam. But it's still like that section of the game. Yuya tells you that the body parts were gathered in the lab where Shu is performing an autopsy. He determines you died from asphyxiation, from illness or poison, and you were dismembered afterwards. So you're on a psychological horror murder solving team now and the school janitor whose name is mr one is assisting you and you start uh being pursued by a scarecrow like monster called labor nine here i'll put labor nine on that's what labor nine looks like we could have uh, done this version well i would have had to play through many more scenarios to get us here and um i wasn't willing to do that <laughs> and <Yeah>. uh <laughs> so the students become uh the students begin comparing alibis and distrusting each other they find the headmaster has also been poisoned to death uh, they find some documents in his office one they can't translate and another one called the human representatives and this document says that the protagonist your character is actually a symbol of humanity and if it were to die the bird's campus would be sealed off and the birds inside handed over as sacrifices to the humans in 12 hours once the dome is lifted. Some birds try to escape, uh, you know, horrified at this news, and are shot as they try to escape. So uh, through some dialogue, it's explained that the janitor is actually a secret agent from the Hawk Party, and the human-bird relations aren't all they seem. The Hawk Party is known for being extremist and trying to grow animosity between the humans and the birds, and the janitor is actually a plant there at the school uh, as a focus. As the school is a focus on the, the human and bird relations. This is so... so 
so much more interesting than the fucking right? game we just played. Yeah. Could, you, could you not have just like like gotten through and then just let us play this? <laughs> like what we played oh, no, was like a nonsensical mess of just like well, go here, do this, and then do something else the next day that mm -hmm. has nothing to do with anything. None of our decisions seemed like it brought us any further or closer to any of the birds. And this well, actually brought has us away from the like, birds' uh, genitalia, as we found out. I guess. <laughs> well, this but it one, didn't, uh, like, it wasn't apparent. There are at no the time. choices in this section of the game, so it is questionable whether this is a game or not. It's a visual novel that you're sort of just clicking through. I'd rather read but, that. Then. <laughs> the the story continues hunting for more clues they find that many years ago there was a fire on campus that shut down a medical center and that's where oh i should back up for a second so in my playthrough when you uh when i romanced nageki what what, what came together at the end was that uh do you remember nageki's reaction when we when we started talking to him Oh my god, he's the murderer. Uh, he's not the murderer, but he's been dead the whole time. And Nageki's oh actually a ghost. Oh my god. And he's uh, a he ghost. sort of fades away at the end when you're you're sort of like oh you've god. bonded over the school year and he realizes like you've kind of set him free. Yeah, because he's been kind of haunting the grounds and you're no one else can see him. Soul. There's several times where other people come in and they don't know who you're talking to. So wow. yeah, kind of a kind of a big reveal. Decent, decent ending. So that's where they uh at the medical center when it burned down, who that's where Nageki the, died. The library kid? Uh, Frank whispering. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, Herbert the pervert, yeah. So they find a closed building on campus, and it's got a blocked-off basement. You also meet a new bird called Angel, Angel, another bird character who gives you some information that the protagonist had gone to the infirmary before they disappeared, meaning that Yuya and Shu lied about their alibis, and they find the protagonist's bloody student ID. So you decide to confront the doctor, Shu, uh, Sakuya actually confronts him first, and Shu tries to kill Sakuya with a poisoned scalpel, but Yuya, his brother, saves his life. And as Yuya is dying, uh, he explains, so the doctor kills, which was tried to kill Sakuya, and um, Yuya saved his life. Yuya and Sakuya are half-brothers. Oh, there's a lot of, I've, I've read a lot about the backstory of this game. I so, guess so. Uh, as he's dying, Yuya explains that he had a deal with the doctor. The protagonist did die in the infirmary yesterday, and, but somebody else killed her, and, Shu, uh, and Yuya and himself cut up the body. The doctor wanted to do this to delay the discovery of the body and give the humans time to gather. And the reason that Yuya did this and was convinced to do it was because he didn't want the doctor to reveal the truth about their family. Apparently, and this took me way too much reading to sort out, apparently Sakuya and Yuya's current father killed Yuya's father in order to be with their mom and that usurper dad would accept Yuya who had just been born as his own but uh she had to leave the unhatched egg behind the mom had to leave the unhatched egg behind and so Sakuya the aristocrat French bird thinks that he's that bird's son of royal birth but what actually happened was that the baby bird Yuya swapped the eggs or, or took the eggs so that that unhatched egg and saved it and uh, it would have been of non-royal birth. It was that, that was Sakuya. So Sakuya is living a lie. He's not actually that 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 royal bird's son. They're actually full-fledged brothers. So yeah, um, they are blood brothers, not half brothers. And uh, that would ruin everything for Sakuya, Yuya thought. So he protected the secret and cut up the protagonist's body over that. <sighs> We're in it now. So with three hours left before the dome rises, they regroup and are planning to face Shu. You get underground. You save the teacher uh, and uh, Angel, who were being were about to be killed by poison gas. And we're about to be done with this plot, right? Not quite. So Ryuta was captured and the rest of the crew gets there too late. Shu has turned Ryota into a biological weapon ready to eradicate all humans. <laughs> Shu says it's almost time for the dome to be lifted and the Ryota weapon will wipe them all out with a Charon virus. Uh, Ryota now has super strength two for some reason and bashes Sanoko and Sakuya. Well, and they've got Angel with them, and Angel, of course, has hy hypnosis powers for some reason. So they, they use that on Ryota and they attack him along with the spirit of the protagonist, which helps them. Ryota snaps out of it and realizes he doesn't want to kill all humans. He doesn't want to do that. They question Shu and he explains that Ryota's dad, Ryoji, was the only bird that Shu ever respected and he wanted to fulfill his wishes. So they have reinforcements now and, and they were outnumbering Shu. So Sakuya says, that he'll face justice for the crimes he's committed. Shu is amused by all this and defiantly says that uh, he will continue researching and then he shot 
uh, Kazuaki, the teacher, had a gun concealed and shoots him again. Shu realizes that as he's dying, that Kazuaki is Nageki's orphan brother. He had gone into <laughs> oh hiding after the medical fire, bleached his feathers, and got a teaching job as a school to get closer to the medical center to figure out what happened to his brother. Well, what happened to Nageki was that originally Nageki, the ghost in the library, uh, was the host to the original Charon virus, and Shu had preserved it by extracting it from his bones after he had been, you know, incinerated and then transferred it into Ryota. Ryota decides that he should be cryogenically frozen in the medical center along with the other specimens, specimens such as uh, the protagonist's brain, apparently, until a cure can be found, thus protecting the humans in the world from human bird warfare. The end. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> yeah. He played a dun dun dun. dun. Uh, that was a lot for me. <laughs> Yeah. Um, some other things I might have left out somewhere in there. The protagonist, the character actually died from the Charon virus when you came in contact with Ryota because Ryota was injected with this virus that it's like he was testing the virus to see if it would kill all humanity and you're the only human at school. So at some point when you came in contact with Ryota, I think when you were visiting the infirmary, you died and that proved the virus worked. Um, you were chopped up and, and your brain was used to create that scarecrow monster I showed, Labor 9, because... Birds want, uh, at least Chew wanted some sort of humanoid like thing that could do jobs for them. So, this and is basically just like birds aren't real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's true. Birds aren't real. And like I, like, they are like a secret society of not drones. real birds. I, I can't, yeah. I can't emphasize that enough. And I'll, here, I'll toss a point on the board for you here, That's Grace, what I because our, our prize for the evening, you know, in line with that, since birds aren't real, here is a, here is a pigeon, um, pigeon Thank with you. a surveillance camera on its head. If you're looking nice. at Twitch there, that, that is Thank our, you. that is our award this evening. Um, so good call there. Wow. That is well, well done. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the bad boy love content is actually the majority of this game if you were to spend your time playing it it's it's hidden and it's a complete reversal of tone from the rest of the game like i said there's little hints here and there like like as you were going for a run you saw like a destroyed city and you're like something seems yeah. amiss right and uh, there's a couple hints here and there but it's still leading off with the severed head of the protagonist was a was a was a big move um, and there is actually one more patch for this game that end, that adds an episode around the holiday. And in 2018, Hato Moa did announce a follow-up game called Hato Full Boyfriend Mirror that is still in production. So you guys can look forward to that. Okay. Uh, thoughts? Any questions about Hato Full Boyfriend? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that is that is Hatoful Boyfriend and the plot of Bad Boys Love. Uh, let's let's we're at two hours and eleven minutes. Let's jump into it. Uh, critic reviews. What do you think? What do you think the critics thought of this? Uh, Metacritic review for this game. Absolute shit. Uh, critics are dumb, so I'm gonna give it. They're gonna give it kind of high. I'm gonna say they gave it an eighty. You're gonna say eighty from Frank. All right, uh, Hunter. What do you think? Thirty. Carly. What do you think? Sixty-four. Like the Nintendo and Tom. I'm just looking. I'm going to say... You're just looking it up? <laughs> no, no, no. I was just looking, looking at everyone, okay. what everyone else said. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say 70. Grace, what do you think? 74. Well, the actual number is the same as Hyperscape, which was 68. Imagine that. This game wow. got the same score as Hyperscape, which we played last week. Uh, yeah, I mean, 68 from the critics across it. the board. All right, I'm going to send around a few reviews here. Wait, do I get a, do I get a point? <laughs> okay. I'm, I was gonna, I'd was i normally Man. give you two, but you had a lot of attitude there, so I'm going to give you one. <laughs> IGN gives it an 80. Oh, see, I fucking... Oh, IGN. Yeah, IGN gave it an 80. <laughs> Though it has some pacing issues and a seemingly useless upgrade system, the funny, meaningful stories had me reading right past them. Classic IGN rating. Hunter, what do you have there? I don't even want to read this because the score is too high. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> PC Games N gives it a 70 and says, I came for the promise of pigeon romance, but I stayed for the surreal world these fowl reside in. Wow. Tom, what do you have? Kill Screen gives it a uh, 70 and says, if you prefer plots that are weird to begin with and just get weirder, you'll be extremely happy with Hataful Boyfriend. If you don't feel excited by every single Japanese pulp culture trope reenacted by pigeons, Hataful Boyfriend might not be for you. 
is that how big of a population is that? I don't uh, even think that. <laughs> uh, was there that many like Japanese tropes? It's, tropes? it's like just the anime clubs in high schools. Yes, right. It is because I I don't with with like uh, I love you, Colonel Sanders. I feel like maybe those were so overt that I enjoyed them, but with this, I'm like, I don't know. Are there tropes in here? Are these are these normal things that they're playing off of? It's just a pigeon. <laughs> it's just it's a pigeon. fucking pigeon, man. There's just two pigeons. Hardcore Gamer gives it a 30 and says, Hatoful Boyfriend began life as a joke and ended as one. Calling it bad is not going to offend anyone because that's exactly what it wanted to be. Even among the most outlandish visual novels, Hatoful Boyfriend at least succeeds at being one of the most bizarre things to come out of the genre. How this made it on Steam for $10 is a mystery. These are the kind of cheaply and lazily made games that should be free. Hatoful Boyfriend is not a genuine comedic venture. It's just a ridiculous idea turned purposefully bad game. Charging money for it is is just wrong, even if it is the best pigeon dating simulator on the planet. I, I think that's a little harsh. I mean, I don't know why someone would spend all their time doing this, but I mean, they, they still should you know, try and sell I it, I guess. I don't think it's I mean, harsh enough. Paid. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what about the user scores? Oh, people can't stop raving about this game. <laughs> you need a cricket button. I did my own laugh track. <laughs> you sick fuck. The user scores, it's rated very positive on Steam with 94% recommending this game. A couple wow. of reviews I'll send around no. here first. <laughs> for 94% of what? Yeah, but that's just People. them being ridiculous. Uh, not uh, obviously uh, not the population. Of anime 94% club kids. gamers on Steam. Woofer purr. Which is actually adorable because it's like a dog and a cat. But anyway, says, think about it I have never sense, been not... so invested in a game ever. I would recommend this to any birdie. Stop <sighs> it. I have <laughs> concerns for you, woofer purr. <laughs> Frank, you got one there? This is a review by Red J, who maybe uh, relates to Ray J. We don't know. Uh, and they have a uh, 552 hours played. Oh my god! They say uh, it's an all right game. <laughs> Hunter, all one right. for you there. Fairy says, "I hate that I enjoy this." Recommended. And one more from Mr. Ninja Squirrel. He concludes his long review with this: "Hotful boyfriend made me laugh. It made me smile and appreciate its subtlety, and it made me cry. The spectrum of emotions I experienced throughout my handful of playthroughs, which should be considered a requisite, as you will miss the vast majority of this game's content if you only play through it once, was something I never imagined this game to be capable of. It kept me playing for hours on end, up late into the night. I'm still attempting to process all that I witnessed. It could very well be the apotheosis of a game you shouldn't judge." by its cover and something that every birdie ought to give a chance at least before writing it off as something it by and large is anything but ended your review on a preposition is that a preposition a conjunction conjunction junction there's one more what's your function uh, conjunction junction uh, Shredded Wheats says, fantastic game. Makes me wish birds were real. That's exactly right. And, Recommend. Uh, Good. Grace Good. jumped the gun there and already got the point for guessing what it was. Yes, uh, I did. <laughs> here's your website, birdsaren'treal.com. Go get yourself some, some merchandise. Um, yeah, because we're always being watched. Stay inside and uh, stay safe. So They charge on the power lines. They charge on the power lines. Exactly. They do. Um, <laughs> So let's get to some questions about this game. Uh, so I can give some points out. Who would you who would you ship? Who is best bird? Uh, what what are your favorite birds? Uh, out Oko -san. Of the group we had. san for Hunter. All right, and uh, I guess make your Sounds make your case biased. as well. Why why Okosan Hunter? Because he's the biased? best bird. Because he's the best bird. Because he's because he's <laughs> he loves crazy. Putting, he loves putting. He does stupid shit. So people are gonna be like. He's very fast. People who play this game are gonna like him because he does dumb weird shit. He's so spazzy. Yeah. He's so extra yeah. random. <laughs> Rar. Always the penguin dudes, of you know? doom. <laughs> <laughs> I like Akima. Aki who? A zombie. Uh, the a zombie. Oh, Azami, I'm oh, sorry. My, I don't even know, know if you can get a point so for that. Why? Tell me about Azami Az Azima. Were my I guess. That's embarrassing. 
I just don't do words good. Listen, Azami um, has a scooter. That's pretty bad. She sells takoyaki. Yeah. And he was in a gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a girl. And she but has a raspy she love voice. You. She loves her old <laughs> gang leader. I know. That yeah, but she, you know what's cool is she, she finds she finds love, you know, like in a game where you might not, she, oh, she does. True. To the fan wiki on stream right here, so we can look at their. I don't know if we should be doing that. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't look at that. <laughs> Get arrested for something. Just be careful how far you yeah. scroll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now are these fan drawings? I think we these are all fan drawings, uh, unless maybe they came from the original artwork from the artist, because this does very much look like the original artist's artwork. If you look up um, Hato Moa, this is kind of what her normal art style looks like. Mm. <sighs> Hato full uh, boyfriend body pillows. <laughs> Are they the, smaller because uh, they're just birds? <laughs> regular pillows. <laughs> <laughs> the regular yeah, the special pillows edition. It's just cheaper. The special edition just came with the body pillow that I think I scrolled past earlier. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any other any PS1? other uh, preferences on best bird? I think Nagaki, just because he wasn't around much, but he ended up being dead. <laughs> And I think that that's Good really reasoning. interesting. We never would have known. Mm-hmm. And he's just um great guy, mysterious past, dead. Yeah. All those things. I can't emphasize how much work has been done uh, in the fandom. Uh, I mean, it's a wiki style fandom with interactions wow. with each character, full details on every single episode. There's all, there's also a manga series um, about Hateful Boyfriend and a drama series of the reading of the oof. You know, there's sometimes you start, you dip your dip your toe into some sort of subculture, and it freaks you out a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> at GGN, we we call games garbage, but really, what we're doing is we're looking to find some joy in these games. So, any volunteers, tell me something positive about this game. Talk to me about what. Uh, tell, tell me something good about this game. We're done with it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to give you a point for that. Something good about the game. You could spend a lot of time playing it. You could you could get invested in this uh, you didn't say lore, invested. i suppose yeah i just said you could spend a lot of time playing it. yeah it's you, only yeah. ten dollars it's only ten dollars i got it on sale for less yeah yeah it's not a full price game that's for sure if you have a pigeon fetish that could this could be a good game for you i don't know if it's a i don't know if it's a positive as about this game, learned, as we learned in the fur fun <laughs> episode it might be you know for if you like that you like that yeah i think even though we didn't get to um see it firsthand that story that you were describing like that's pretty hardcore like i think we'd all be having a different tune i agree if yeah. it was if it Fully was that agree. but but that's not that i mean that's that's not a negative that's it's we just didn't get to see it so i think that that could have been a pretty pretty badass story why can't all the endings end up with our head cut up in a box? Hmm? It's a, it's a good plot twist, honestly, to have the main character's head in a box. You know, you don't expect it. No, I, I never mean, it would was have stolen expected from that. Seven, but you know. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, upon first first impression, you know, you're like, oh, I mean, we, you know, we this is this is similar to the Colonel Sanders and the Daddy the Dream Daddy. Daddy. You know, it's a it's a it's a fun, uh, playful, almost. A parody but it is the real games is it even parody i don't know <laughs> take on this uh type of game sure a uh visual novel yeah so it's just you know i i get it but it is such a time sink that you know if it's not uh what you're into it's just really not what you're into and that's what the whole game's about so yep. uh you know and to get to the the more maybe intriguing parts you know with the, the murder mystery um you'd have to sink quite a bit of time to you know stumble upon it um, oh yeah, it'd be real difficult. I mean, you can zip through with the fast forward, right? But yeah, you, you have to get you know four specific to ones. Take. It's it's like yeah, this, this this hidden section, which is a completely different game. It's only for the real fans. But like, real fans of the first part, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it's the same audience, or maybe it is. I don't know. That wasn't an the, anime club. The art style that you showed, uh, the pictures just now that was on like the the Wikipedia mm-hmm. thing. You said that was that was the original art, or that was something that no, was fan made. No, this is this is like the the sketches from the artist, I believe. Um, but that no, they've all kind better. of looked like this. I was just gonna say, I was like, I actually, I'm a, I'm a real big fan of those sketches. A yeah. lot, I like it a lot more than using and stock um, photos, like copy the, and paste. Yeah, like the stock from photos. Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and plus, like they all look the same practically. Like the two birds that are on the screen right now. Wow. Speciesist. 
It's like one has a fluffy tail and the other one probably also has a fluffy tail hidden. Yeah. And yeah. I think that what? fully takes away from like the whole idea of the dating sim game where you're supposed to have a character with like a fleshed out story and a background. And there's and like a reactions and a as well in those games. Like, tone. And you're just like, I don't know the difference between Yuya, Kazuyuki, anybody because it's just pictures of birds. Yeah, it's the same picture. Like in, in yeah. his, you know, I love you, Colonel Sanders. Like they had different animations for every character. Like a surprised still, uh, a show, you know, a scared it doesn't fit with still. Like the the background art for the rest of the game, it kind of feels like it was just like pulled from like they googled scooter and picked the first drawing well, of a scooter. Yes, some of it 100 percent was like the background photos yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. She did. You did use all royalty free stuff to create the game originally. Um, I don't know if they were replaced along the way and. Well, the anime characters are her own i think there was a shutterstock Uh, credit at the end was there in the credits probably we could give it a score on a zero to ten scale but we play a lot of bad games here games so bad they go past zero and get into the negatives in a game with a negative score that means it's getting so bad you're enjoying it again so what do you think about this game 10 is a perfect game zero and scores around it are in garbage can valley no enjoyment and negative 10 is so bad it's perfect what do you guys think? Uh, I'll just go down the list. Oh, put her on the spot. Grace is on the top of the list. So Grace, what do you think? I mean, this was pretty rough. It, it's hard because it's like when you learn about that hidden section of the game. aspect and the birds aren't real aspect of the game. <laughs> I think it's really funny, even though you would have only been reading through it, but it would have been like a surprise and I feel like you would have wanted to follow it to the end. Mm-hmm. This time, like the way that we played it, <laughs> I I would I would give it like a negative three. Three, okay. All right, Tom, what do you think? Uh, I I mean I think everything that Grace just said I agree with completely. Um, Legally, you have to. But I'm just feeling a little more Grace. generous about it. Yeah, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna say for the potential that was there, a negative four. Negative four from Tom. Carly, what do you think? Uh, negative. Two, I negative two. Yeah, I, I it was that was a rough one, but mm-hmm. the game that you described after we finished playing it seemed like an entirely different game. Had yeah. we gotten to any of that quicker, I probably would have given it a better scoring because that sure. actually would have been funny and interesting. But what we played here tonight, nah, nah, not yeah. my my game. And I want to emphasize the the tone in that game is a very serious psychological horror game, too. It's not wacky stuff happening. You know, it's like this. It's birds taking themselves very seriously. Mm, in a, that's uh, hysterical because <laughs> that yeah. is so funny. <laughs> All right, Which Hunter, what do you think? Is the exact reason that I'm going to give this game a zero. <laughs> Because oh, wow. I, Another zero I, from Hunter. <laughs> it, King if, of zeros. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna go to go ahead and say, like, you know, obviously, if you were playing this game, you're not going to be playing it with a group of people playing all the characters, which was oh, yeah. the fun part about the night. The yeah. And I would never get to that end story because I wouldn't be able to stomach this game long enough to do it. I sure. don't think it's funny. I don't think it's a parody. I don't think it like meets the definition of a parody. It's not trying to uh, poke fun at the genre. It's not like in too intelligent in that way. Nothing seems to matter. None of, you know, like j- you fly through the days and like absolutely nothing happens. And but it and then it's just not like a really absurd either. It just it feels like you said she pulled uh, royalty free stuff. It feels like the entire game, including the story, the text and everything the script was written by like 700 different people. And she just like put it all together, handed out a game and Steam got a hold of it and was just like, look, it's weird. Make it Actually, fun. This, this got put on during the green light era too so a bunch of people voted on this to go on well you were talking about like the days don't seem to mean anything the example of being in the coffee shop the first time was a good example it's like okay i came in to apply for the job he seems to like me great i'm gonna be a good fit here oh ryota shows up um no ryota i'm gonna keep the job oh okay goodbye but like these these things happen and it's like yeah okay great it didn't manifest into anything and when they do manifest into something it's like the A birds very bland practically and mediocre. kill each other and then it's like, oh, it's summer festival. 
And like, I get it if if there's so many hints that lead to like that bizarre, crazy ending. That's great. Bad but boy love. if you can't make a game worth playing to get to that yeah. ending, what's the point? Yeah. And then I I wholly agree that like if they had used the original artwork or even just sketch drawings of the birds, I think I could have given it a score that wasn't zero. Shockingly, because, I like, feel like if it was the the anime characters i would have enjoyed it more yeah like the the birds like it just does nothing for me it does and it's not even like in the oh it's supposed to be a dating sim it does nothing for me it's just boring to look yeah. at the same picture of a bird over and over like you yep. could have picked Unless different the pictures of the birds you could have animated a little bit you know how many birds there are in real life and they picked like seven pigeons <laughs> <laughs> they were like they were like there's like so many birds. <laughs> that's a, no, that's a perfect example of it, though. Like, and, do something and interesting. Five nope. pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> throw a penguin in there. Like, make some. <laughs> like that you Pe- could peacock. throw. Yeah, peacock. Mm-hmm. Peacock should have been the French Even guy. Even a turkey. You guys aren't in on the joke, obviously. But Frank, Frank gets it right. Frank, what what kind of score would you give this, Frank? Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> I you know it's not so bad it's good it's a game it functions <laughs> if you if you want this it is what it is uh-huh. if you want well unless you want to really fuck the bird I, apparently you can't get that <laughs> you far. cannot get that in this game <laughs> if you want to just bud romance with a bird though mm-hmm. I feel like you can you have budding romance Chris uh, you kiss yeah. the bird yeah uh, you, uh, I don't know if there's the any pecking how many what base do you get to with these birds I don't I don't think you can get to any bases with the birds yeah well never mind it's pointless. I will be subtracting points. <laughs> this game now gets a two. Yeah, you would really care. If you can't even give the bird a little smooch, yeah. you know? Oh. Now, that, now is that how you contract cheek. avian flu? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, mm-hmm. all right? Why don't we call uh, Dr. Fauci? Oh, wait, he's not picking up the phone? No? He, he, he turned off his phone? Where is he Keep hiding? Keep calling him. Huh? Is he in the hills? <laughs> Where is he? Is he the- <laughs> Where is he hiding? Tell us about the birds. Why don't you talk to us about bird flu? Yeah. Has he got something else going on? Hey, you guys. Huh? Hey, you guys. You know the best I way. I haven't been by TV in two years. Is he busy? You know, you know the best way to avoid the bird flu? to get immunized. Chris, that's not funny. There's, there's no vaccine. Zero. There's can no you, vaccine for bird flu. Chris, that's not funny. Immunized. <laughs> I don't, I don't Chris, think you guys heard me. Chris, it's still a deadly virus that we have no control over. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They really wipe us all out. That's why we had to kill Cancel birds back then. Chris. All right? Cancel Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a foul He's joke. He's pro bird flu. He's pro bird flu. And where will we be He's every other Monday flu. night? <laughs> this whole My episode. My grandma died from bird flu. <laughs> This whole Jeez episode, Lord. it's just, it's just proper gander. You get it? <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, too. Just a, a two. I'm funny. My jokes are funny. <laughs> crowd of people here says so, right? Crowd of, <laughs> crowd of people that I have on a button, they say so. Uh, <sighs> all right, Frank, what do you think? I okay, guy in five to go, yeah, Chris, we do think you're funny, and add that guy to that. <laughs> Okay, that's all the scores there except mine. Um, I don't know what I would objectively score a good dating game, so it's hard to look at this and it's supposed to be a parody of the genre, but it takes itself so seriously sometimes. And I love you, Colonel Sanders worked well because it was so over the top and appealed to, I think, a wide audience. This maybe appeals to an audience that like knows this genre really well, but... Uh, this what sounds- genre? I don't, I don't, should we should we have played one of those first? Should I have assigned homework for you guys? I don't. No, I, I, I guess I feel like maybe we've done those, but like the fact that. Never yeah, mind. it just it I doesn't feel like it's playing it. off it's anything. It's not something I do. That's it, though. It feels like we're missing some sort of on, uh, inside joke the entire time. And one of the reviews did say, I think the one Hunter read, it feels like a uh, inside joke that went too far, and um, like no one no one stopped them. So. It was more successful with Dream Daddy, and that was like probably started off as a joke, right? Because it was actually well written for Western audiences, but this has been translated. And if there was any charm and subtle jokes in there, they probably got mangled and they don't come across well. Most of the dialogue's clunky. The character choices are really bland, too. Because, like, if, if we were trying to assemble like a group of wacky characters that you want to uh, want your character to be able to date and interact with, like, you come up with these people. None of them are that interesting or engaging, right? So, I don't know. If the manga dating school world is for you, maybe you'll enjoy that. But also, um, you know, I hope they look at your search history. And, um, <laughs> <You're on the list. laughs> yeah, it doesn't do anything for me, really. I'll do negative one with my score. So, and uh, without doing any final adjustments, I look over and I see Grace is on the top of the list and with the highest score at number four. So, congratulations. Is that a coincidence? 
race. Hooray! Uh, it's not a coincidence. It's it's all good. Wait, wait. That I, means I, that I, I, I deserve it. You oh, earned okay. it. I earned uh, it. I, I, it was about time, though. I mean, I've records. only done three of these, or like four. Is this your but first win? It was about time. This is my first win. Wow! Wow! Congratulations! And I Grace. do feel quite proud that I'm getting the birds aren't real thing. That's that's pretty much. It's a pretty cool one. That's pretty cool, yeah. and it's it, we talk about it a lot. Yeah, it's a good talking point, you know. And it's actually, good, it comes with a mountable base. Oh, this is a prototype. This is an early bird prototype. I'll trade you it comes with a mountable base in it. case you want to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in case you want to mount it on the wall like a surveillance camera. I guess um, there's a there's a base for it there, so that's pretty cool. That's a little much, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Put holes in the wall. I'm not gonna put yeah, holes in the wall, in the wall for your okay. birds aren't real. Oh, I thought you enjoyed this and yeah. it meant something to you, but okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> All clips in this podcast were used in compliance with the U.S. copyright fair use exemption for criticism and commentary. Garbage Game Night makes no claims to ownership over any games played and has no affiliation with any developer or publishing company. For additional references on cited articles and quotes, check our episode-related blog at garbagegamenight.com. Or if you have a comment about the game we reviewed or have a suggestion, drop us a line.